everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have not done an empties video in such a long time and I am so ready to get rid of so, uh, so much of this. I'm going to go fairly quickly. I'll give you a little bit of reviews. I'm not going to link everything down below because otherwise it's going to take me forever. However, I will link the products that I think are truly worth checking out or that I highly recommend anything like that I will certainly link it down below all right let's get started because I have a ton of stuff here <laughs> a lot this bin is full <laughs> okay I'm gonna start off with my cinema secrets this is the makeup brush cleaner that I use I love this. I have a full one here next to me. This bottle probably lasts me about eight months. You just have to dip the very tip of your brush in it and then wipe it off on a clean, wipe your brush off on a clean cloth. Your brush is sanitized. They are clean. They are ready to use. It dries immediately. There's no wait time. It makes brush cleaning so incredibly fast. If you just want to try it, there are smaller sizes. You don't have to get such a big size. Love, love, love this. This is one of my must have. It's something that I have one here in Florida. I have one in Kansas. I won't be without this. I have quite a few, and I think I stuck another one in here. Yeah. I have a few vitamin C's that I have gone through. I think I've been accumulating this probably since December, just so you know. No, probably longer than that because I have a lot of vitamin C's here. Anyway, I've got the Timeless Vitamin C, which many of us love and enjoy. I have one of the great big bottles that I purchased when Timeless was having their sale. And yeah, I, I already have it. I have this one from Dermalogica. This is very pricey. My daughter... Stephanie received this in one of her packages because she works for Ulta and she gave it to me. But do I think it's worth the, let's see, how could I put this? Did it do some major changes where I say, oh wow, I'm going to continue buying it? No, I appreciated it. I used it. I liked it, but I don't think it made any difference between the timeless or the others that I have here either it, it really doesn't matter i honestly don't think that you need to go out and spend all the money that this is the other one that i have here is a mad hippie i had a little bit of this left i finished i used it up i cannot use this under makeup because it pills up my makeup i don't know maybe i'm doing something wrong but i have gone through a couple of these and i've used them at night because Honestly, during the day, it doesn't matter the foundation. It doesn't matter what I do. It just pills up on me. So I will not be repurchasing it. Oh, of course, I'm not going to be repurchasing the Dermalogica either. This one is Skin Diva. I won this. I, it was a giveaway from Instagram. And I really, really liked it. If I'm, I'm not going to repurchase one now because like I said, I have the big bottle of Timeless, but this is another one that is really nice. I would go between one and the other, also reasonably priced, just like the Timeless. This is my Ollie Skin. These are the gummies. I love this one. This is the hyaluronic acid. It contains collagen and sea buckthorn. I will not be without these. I have the multivitamin i have another glow i have the stress which are so helpful to me it even helps me sleep so i don't have i take the the sleepy time one but i also take the the stress one especially these days yes i have backups so i will be repurchasing it this is from new face this is the collagen booster this is a copper complex this is also very expensive i first purchased this when I got my new face that actually Stephanie was the one that gave it to me. She won it also on a an Instagram giveaway, if I'm not mistaken. And she entered the giveaway for me. I love my new face. 
there was also a gift card of some sort and I purchased this I think it was like $85 or something but I got it because I had that gift card I won't be repurchasing it I think that these are supposed to be good this uh, copper complex but I can say yeah it's it made such a big difference that you know I'm going to be rebuying I'm going to be repurchasing no I'm not I have a Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I know that this is a cult favorite for many, but for me, it just doesn't work out. It creases, it doesn't do well. Hydrating Cleansing, Hydrating Cleansing Cloths by Color Science. I was sent this during Christmas. Color Science sent, sent me a gift box. It wasn't so much a PR such as, oh, try this and talk about it. Bigger companies, for the most part, don't do that. They just send out a gift box. This was in the gift box. I am not a cleansing cloth type girl, but I really like these. I don't know if I'll be repurchasing them. I'm sure they're pricey. I haven't looked at the prices, but yeah. I don't. I don't usually buy cleansing cloths. I use these because I had them, and if I was really tired, that's when I pulled them out. I think I've had this package since December, and I just finished it. This is the Farsali, the Unicorn Essence. I thought this was really nice. This is pricey. I don't think it makes any, there's no change between this and some others that are less expensive. I purchased it, I loved it when I first came out and I used it. I think this is my second or my third one that I've been through, but I won't be repurchasing it. This I absolutely love. I have my backup in the bathroom. This is from Ren. It's the Ready Stay Glow Daily AHA Tonic. I think this does an amazing job. I don't use it every single morning. If you want something that really is active on your skin. I think this is a, a great product. I love it. it. Yes, it is a little pricey. I think it's worth every single penny and it lasts a long time. It has one of these push type um, dispensers on it. This is from Indie Lee. This is the second one that I go through. This is a brightening cleanser. I thought it was nice. I really liked it. That's why I repurchased it. I won't be repurchasing again. I don't think it's really necessary to spend so much money on cleansers. The NYX Control Freak for my brows. I love this. I go between this one and the Anastasia one, the AHA. This is ABH, not AHA, ABH. Love it. Very affordable. They were just on sale at Ulta for $4.50. I total, it totally passed them by and I forgot to pick up some because I usually buy backups of these. If you need something to really keep your brows in place, I think this is an amazing product. Love it. Oh, some of you are just going to hate me for this. This is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. So many of my friends here on YouTube love this lash primer. Absolutely love it. Like my really good friends. <laughs> I could not get this stuff to work. Trish, Monica, Natalie, this does not work for me. It does not. And I know you ladies love it. It just clumped all over the place. So much product came out. So you see, it just goes to show you ladies that what may work for one may not work for another. We're all different. Thank goodness that we have choices and lots of variety. This is from Grand, so no, I won't be purchasing that needless to say. Grand Lips, love this stuff. I always buy it. I use it at night. Love it. I love the, the, grand, um, the grand Cosmetics, the serum for the brows. And this one I love. I don't use the Lash Serum anymore, even though I loved it because I'm now using the Blank and I, I really like that one. So I'm using this. All right. I also have these Sensitive Micellar Cleansing Wipes. I, I think I got this in a one of those extras or something that Ulta sends out when you purchase something. There weren't that many in here, but I used them up because I wasn't going to throw them away. I have the Bare Mineral. I'm not going to be repurchasing those. I, <laughs> it's a late reaction. What can I tell you? I have the Bare Minerals Prep Step. This is an this is an SPF. It's a moist. It's a primer and moisturizer. The SPF. I think I I can't see it, but I yeah, it's 50. I don't really care for it. I feel, I think it feels greasy and it gives that white cast. It takes a while to sink in on me 
that's my experience. There's still a little bit left in here, but yeah, I'm not going to use it. I don't like it. I go through a few of these Shiseidos and I always forget to save the packaging, but I love the, I really like them. I have some backups for them because I bought them when they were on sale. However, if you watched my, I can't remember which video I mentioned, the one from Sephora, I thought those, their organic, organic cotton pads, and I really, really like them. They're a lot less expensive than these, I think. I think they're less expensive, I can't remember. I, I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it because right now I have so many. This is, I'm saving it. This I am saving it because I figured I could use it for travel, put something in there. This is from Fresh, it's the, the face cleanser, but I figured I could use use it. I really like the Clean and Zero and it's not as expensive as the one from, um, what did I say, Fresh? It's not Fresh, it's Pharmacy, yeah. I, I really like it, I really do, but I'd rather, uh, the Clean and Zero works so well that I figured why spend the money on it. I finished the Origins Planscription. This is the, what is this? This is the night cream. I really, really like this. I, I did. I, I used it all up. I, I loved it, but I'm not going to be repurchasing it. I really don't buy any moisturizers for the evening. I'm trying to use up everything that I have. This is very emollient. If you need a night cream, this is a nice one, but I'm not going to be repurchasing it. I have a sponge here that needs to go in the garbage. I don't remember, I don't remember the brand of this one. It might be my basic beauty, to, from basic beauty tools, because that's the one I, I really like. And it's got a slant, but this one, it's seen better days. These lashes, these are from MAC. I really like these lashes. I have a backup. These are the only lash, I have two lashes that I really like. One, one's from Velour and these from MAC. I love them both. And even though I don't wear lashes all the time, I do like to have them. I re I can't, I, it doesn't have a name on them, but I really like these because the band is so thin that you don't really need any eyeliner or you just need a very thin one. Love these. These go, you could use them if you take care of them for 20 times. I think I, I've used these, but yeah, love those. I have a backup. So, and I'll, I'll continue purchasing. I'll continue purchasing them. All right, I'm going through my. Here's another NYX Control Freak. I finished that one as well. This is the Genifique. It has uh, denatured alcohol. I I I got this in one of my purchases, one of my Lancome purchases. I think this is full, but it's going in the garbage because I don't I don't use that. I don't. I don't put any denatured alcohol on my face. I'm always afraid of drying it out. Oh, and I have the Genifique, also the eye cream. Same deal. It's basically full. It's, I, I haven't used it. I'm throwing it away. And you, many of you probably say, well, why don't you give it to someone? Actually, the reason I don't give it to anyone is because if I don't put denatured alcohol, and I know it could be like to transport other ingredients, I get it. But if I don't put it on my face, I'm not going to give it to someone else to put on their face. That's just my feeling on it. I may be wrong, but that's how I feel. Anyway, I have this by Dior Forever. This is one of their lip maximizers. Love this stuff. I already have a backup. I always, when I finish one, I get another one or when I'm finishing it and I have another one. The same with the gloss one. I have my new one. Love this. I will continue repurchasing those. Okay, many of these are lipsticks. I'm not going to be buying lipsticks for now because I have a ton of lipsticks and I'm really trying to put my 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 best into not buying as much if I have a lot. I want to try to use up the stash that I have. I'm gonna put on my glasses because otherwise I can't tell you anything about what anything is. Okay, this is the Smash, um, Smashbox, always on, loved it. It's in Stepping Out, 
and I have one that is stay neutral, also like this one. This one is from Julep. This is Pout. I purchased that Pout a few times because I love the color so much. I can't swatch them. They are to totally dry. I have used them up. I've done really good, ladies. All right, these are Becca's that I have finished. I have Topaz, Dahlia, which I loved. I don't even know if they have it anymore. I have Champagne Cream and Chocolate Geode. Loved all of them. I absolutely love these glosses, but I don't think they have those anymore. Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is an orchid. I won't be purchasing that color anymore. I actually, I'm, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills, their, their shadows, but I really don't like, I take them off because I don't want the glare from my ring light to hit you. I, I, I love the Anastasia, so many of their products, but the lip glosses just, or the, their liquid lipsticks, they just don't work for me. I feel that they are quite drying. Also from Anastasia, I have Vintage, or I had it because it's gone. I love Lorac, these Couture um, glosses. Finish this one. This, in, this one is in Muse. This one is an Ofra, which I can't find the name. I love these Ofra ones. And the Stila, it's the same thing as the Anastasia. I can't, they're, these just, uh, this is in Bochi. I love the color, but the liquid lipsticks are just too drying for me. This is in Bisu. This is from Julep, if I'm not mistaken. Julep or Julep? Yeah, Julep. Oh my gosh, I purchased this one so many times. But like I said, I'm not going to get it. Manila from Ofra. Really liked it. Oh my gosh, I was so sorry when this finished. This is the Aqua Luminous uh, Concealer from Becca. I was so sorry when they changed their formula because this was my favorite concealer. And that was a backup that I had that I have finished. I've done good, don't you think? I finished a lot. This is ColourPop. This is in Zuma. Same thing with these ColourPops there. This one is the Ultra ultra blotted lip. I don't even know if they have these anymore. I have bought a bunch of them. This is Marc Jacobs and this is Sugar Sugar. Love these. I finished this one and I'll probably at some point I'll, I will repur repurchase Sugar Sugar. This is Buxom. I have I still have so many of them. I'm not going to get any more. This is from MAC. This is a conceal and correct duo. So one side was for, one side was yellow, the other side was like a peachy color. It was nice when I had it. I wouldn't be repurchasing that again. Kiss Brush On Nail Glue. I have to tell you, I purchased this because I saw some girl doing her nails, uh, a video on it. And she, this is what she was using. And my nails were not on for 10 or 15 minutes and they were already all plopping off. This is basically brand new, but I'm going to throw it away because it just doesn't work. And I don't, if I leave it there, then I'll use it. It doesn't work for me. This is the one, this is the brush on nail, nail glue. So if you need nail glue, I highly recommend the one that I have in my Amazon store. It, I think it's BT Art. I mean, you don't have to go to my my Amazon store, but you can get it on Amazon. It's BT Art something. I think that is the best one. But this one by Kiss, and even the Kiss in the in the very thin tube, the little pink with the pa pink paper on it, I think that one works really well. This one doesn't. Mascara, I had two of these from Sigma. This was my second one. I finished it, it's okay, it was nice, I liked it. I won't be repurchasing it. And this is the Tardius, the Tarte Mascara. I have a backup for this one and I like it. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection. It's one of these lip plumpers. These, oh my gosh. They, they burn. They, I mean, there is no other word for me to say except that they burn. Yeah, I'm not gonna be repurchasing it. And I have another uh, Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge. I think this one is a beauty blender. Right now, I think I purchased like three or four from the um, basic beauty tools because they were having a sale and there was like, I don't know, 35% off or something. So I ordered like three or four. I have an Anastasia. This is a deluxe size of the brow gel. I really like it. Oh, I finished this. 
This is the Milani, the lash primer. This is the violet one. I thought it worked really, really nicely, but I've got a Dior in my drawer and I have a one from Urban Decay, the Subversion, I think it's called, like those. And I have one by Lancome, so I don't need another one. And I think that's it. No, one more thing. I have, I went through the joint bursts. And if you've been with me for a while, you know I take these. It does, it's a miracle. It's a miracle worker for my joint pains. It keeps all of my joint pains away. The first box was sent to me. I don't know, two years ago or something. And I have continued uh, purchasing. I just get them on Amazon. I love these things. I'll always continue taking them because it just keeps my joint pain. My knees do not hurt with that. And I think that is it. Yay, I'm going to be able to throw all of this away. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I hope everyone is staying positive and healthy. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.